Shemuel Shani to Samuel 20. And there happened to be there a man of Belial, whose name was Shiva, the son of Bikri, a Binyamani. And he blew a shofar and said, We have no part in David, neither have we inheritance in the son of Yishai. Every man to his tents, O Yashara'el. So every man of Yashara'el went up from after David and followed Shiva, the son of Bikri. But the men of Yahuda clave unto their king, from the Yardan even to Yerushalayim. And David came to his house at Yerushalayim, and the king took Eth the ten women his concubines, whom he had left to keep the house, and put them inward and fed them, but went not in unto them. So they were shut up unto the day of their death. Living in widowhood. Then said the king to Amasa, Assemble me at the men of Yahuda within three days, and be you here present. So Amasa went to assemble at the men of Yahuda, but he tarried longer than the set time which he had appointed him. And David said to Avishai, Now shall Shiva, the son of Bikri, do us more harm than did Avshalom. Take you your Lord's servants and pursue after him, lest he get him fenced cities and escape us. And there went out after him Yoav's men and the Karathim and the Pelathim and all the mighty men. And they went out of Yerushalayim to pursue after Shiva, the son of Bikri. When they were at the great stone which is in Givan, Amasa went before them, and Yoav's garment that he had put on was girded unto him, and upon it a belt with a sword fastened upon his loins in the sheath thereof. And as he went forth, it fell out. And Yoav said to Amasa, Are you in health, my brother? And Yoav took Amasa by the beard with the right hand to kiss him. But Amasa took no heed to the sword that was in Yaav's hand. So he smote him therewith in the fifth rib and shed out his bowels to the ground and struck him not again, and he died. So Yaav and Avishai, his brother, pursued after Shiva, the son of Bikri. And one of Yaav's men stood by him and said, He that favors Yaav and he that is for David let him go after Yoav. And Amasa wallowed in blood in the midst of the highway. And when the man saw that all the people stood still, he removed Eth Amasa out of the highway into the field and cast a cloth upon him. When he saw that everyone that came by him stood still, when he was removed out of the highway, all the people went on after Yoav to pursue after Shiva, the son of Bikri. And he went through all the tribes of Yashadael unto Avla and to Beat Maka, rather Beat Maaka, and all the Barim, and they were gathered together and went also after him. And they came and besieged him in Avla of Beat Maaka. And they cast up a bank against the city, and it stood in the trench, and all the people that were with him at Yaav battered the wall to throw it down. Then cried a wise woman out of the city, Hear, hear, say, I pray you, unto Yoav, come near hither, that I may speak with you. And when he was come near unto her, the woman said, are you Yoav? And he answered, I am he. Then she said unto him, Hear the words of your handmaid. And he answered, I do hear. Then she spoke, saying, They were wont to speak in old time, saying, They shall surely ask counsel at Evel. And so they ended the matter. 
I am one of them that are peaceable and faithful in Yashar'el. You seek to destroy a city and a mother in Yashar'el. Why will you swallow up the inheritance of Yahuwah? And Yoav answered and said, Far be it, far be it from me that I should swallow up or destroy. The matter is not so. But a man of Mount Ephraim, Shiva, the son of Bikri by name, has lifted up his hand against the king, even against David. Deliver him only, and I will depart from the city. And the woman said, said unto Yoav, Behold, his head shall be thrown to you over the wall. Then the woman went unto all the people in their wisdom, and they cut off at the head of Shiva, the son of Bikri, and cast it out to Yoav. And he blew a shofar, and they retired from the city, every man to his tent. And Yoav returned to Yerushalayim unto the king. Now Yoav was over all the host of Yashar'el, and Benayahu, the son of Yahuyada, was over the Karathim and over the Pelatim. And Adaram was over the tribute, and Yahushaphat, the son of Akilud, was recorder. And Shiva was scribe, and Sedoch and Aviathar were the priests, and Irya, rather, Ira, also the Ya'ari, was a chief ruler about David.